I showed you on the next but I was here. Yeah, I'm trying to f decide if I should go that general area or if I should just pick a random different chunk. I mean, I got here at 3 o'clock this morning. I laid down, looked at my phone, and I'm like... I could send you a pin if somewhere to go. I put, I clicked one pin, but it's a trailhead close to here. I might drive by it. Uh -huh. If there's nobody there, I'll run in there. If not, I might just pick a random spot. So okay. I don't have any service. I'm going to go here one. I think they're going to be a foot. I'm going to go here one. It's open today. day. Good luck, dude. Those are untouched. <sighs> Big wreck, dude. Look at you, truck. <laughs> Was that Truck Robinson? Mm. Santa Chevy Cruze. <laughs> First time hunting Kentucky then? Yeah. Open a morning in Kentucky, the land of curvy roads. We got a 35 mile an hour suggestion here. <laughs> a couple 15s. It's a nice clear morning, 35, 37 degrees, something like that. If the sun pops up, they should be gobbling somewhere on the roost, you'd think. We're just going into a random spot where we have to like park on the bottom and then we're hoping to hike up and over a ridge and you know put some ground between us and the road no expectations never been in there there ought to be turkeys though there's creeks and timber they're here they're around main creeks we just parked on the edge of public here got here about gobble light there's one or maybe two birds just on the edge of private public over here we got to go up and around follow the public line up to the top of that ridge and drop in the side hollow that they're back in. Drop behind those houses, so yeah, houses, hopefully. there's nobody hunting them from the private. There's nobody parked on this entire road, yeah. so. <laughs> Feel pretty good about it. Pretty awesome first morning, we'll see. There's like one, that might be two. Well, I mean, yeah, so that's where I want to be. We've been calling here, basically on the very top right now. We've been calling, and there's at least two birds down in there towards the private field. We get up to closer to the line, get another 200 yards on them, try calling from there. They haven't shut up yet, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> are dead. <laughs> That's opening day for you right there. A lot of tags floating around. A lot of birds doing really dumb things. <laughs> like going into fields on opening day. Dude, he's right down in there.
dropped in this little tiny bowl above where the turkeys gobble. He's responded a lot. He's gobbling like crazy. It sounds like he's right down at the bottom. If we drop off the backside of this little finger to our left and cut all the way to his level and then cut around the hill at him, might have a chance of doing him a little easier than 200 feet elevation up. He's just standing he's on just the bottom. So yeah, he's firing off, off, so he doesn't stop. Flew completely out of here. I watched him fly off the land. Oh, yeah, I, I, know, I, know, I know. So you missed it. <laughs> yeah. I just saw his head, like he was still in strut, but it was just like completely over that log for me. Yeah. You have nothing between you and him. No, I mean, you can see, like, I think it was just like I was shooting, like, 
here and I don't know, I was gonna see if I shot log. I don't think I did. There's some, there is a big spot on log right there. I think you pretty much centered that log. Yeah. Even at point blank, it makes a difference. That's your first Kentucky log, dude. I'll see. <laughs> Here's what you change. <clears throat> you be patient and wait, obviously. I was getting quite impatient at that point. So the thing is, I had a clear shot with the bead. I just... The barrel's below the, barrel's the bead. The barrel's below the bead. You almost got him. The thing is, is like, I didn't get a chance to film it because I was still just like trying to make sure that he was okay, but that turkey straight up flew and watched him fly all the way through the valley, just totally flat and like looking completely fine. Yeah, when he went back, he was like, it was like a, oh crap, what was that? No, like I got hit. Like yeah. he didn't flop at all. But no, he didn't flop at all. He just he jumped just and flew. Backstepped, yeah. Backstepped and then just <laughs> ditched. Oh. I just thought I was straight up had it. I was just like, because he turned, so he turned and then put himself like into my hole perfectly. And I was like, he's like eight yards. It's just going to smoke him. But. Smoked a lot. Classic Ben move. <laughs> I just came down to hunt. So I was like, I want as much time as I can to hunt before Zach gets on the camera. So I'm just going to miss a few birds. And just keep, <laughs> keep trying. Hey dude, it was extremely fun. Yeah. I got no complaints. I don't think we're the first person <laughs> to miss today. <laughs> And a few triple shots. <laughs> yeah, if you actually put your head down the barrel on the side, you can see it runs right into where you hit on that bob. But it's over it with the bead. That was fun. Let's go to the next one. Now we can actually go hunt the stuff we came here for. <laughs> Fantastic. We hunted hard together last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were not necessarily me and you every day, but we were in camp together every day for like s seven weeks. Oh yeah, it was Man. it was gnarly. <laughs> We've been here yet. <laughs> Zach how hit it a bird last night on the way out and he gobbled several times, so we got a pretty good idea where he's at. We parked in a different spot. We got a path that goes all the way back there, about a mile and a half walk. Should be a lot easier than a walk in has been. And it's still pretty dark. Stars are out, should be a clear sunny morning. Go get at him. across the creek, but he's been gobbling a lot. There's another bird's over there somewhere gobbling. 
We've been set up at the end of this point, about 50 yards, it starts to drop down. Everything we can see, we can shoot, so we're gonna try it here. He's responded to the call a couple times. We're thinking the birds actually across the valley, put them about 300 yards away. He's still gobbling off the hook, but we looked at the map. There's a little, actually no, there's a pretty serious bench on that other side, which looks like to be where he is. There's another similar one on our side. We're thinking about walking out the end of this ridge, trying to clearly locate where he is, and dropping down to the bench on our side, just try to cut another, basically cut the distance in half between where we are and he is, the bottoms a little more gentle down there, but he could cross easily if he wanted to. If he's in straight in the bottom, then we're killing him right there for sure. You know? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> Alright, so I can fly like that. Don't you cheat still here. Maybe set up by that big log right there.
might move. Tired of sitting, he's not moving. This guy over here is calling at him. I'm gonna keep him gobbling. He's gonna be right there all day, it kinda seems like. He got like, cut around the head of the ditch. Somehow I'll get on his side. Let's do it before he stops gobbling. We made a little move, came up around the saddle, and got to this, almost to the highway point. We popped up here and caught movement. There's a hen, actually a bearded hen, just working away along this ridge line. He's still gobbling down there. It kind of sounds like he's moved, maybe, but either way, he's on this side of the drainage. So our approach is going to be in that direction, where the hen's at right now. So we're just kind of hanging loose. If he just all of a sudden pops up this, we're in a good spot.
god. <laughs> Jeez. <Dude. sighs> body. That was insane. Did you? Dude, I guess you couldn't see. He, as soon as he did that, I was like, there was a stick right in the way, and I was like, just let it go clean. Keep it cold. Go, get, go grab him, bud. Buddy. <laughs> Dude, he is a big old spurred one. He's the one that gobbled all day. Jeez. Oh, that, that footage is seriously the craziest <laughs> thing ever. Dude, we just stuck with it. Just oh. stuck with it. I mean, what a stupid setup. We even said that like right before he came oh. in. We were just like, well, this is stupid. It was basically like we were moving in. We just needed a place to like peek down there in glass. He's got one. Somebody shot somewhere. And we didn't really know what was going on for a bit in the strain basically the whole time and then as he started to gobble a little more and zach was calling another one fires up over here and that, we just hear a drum and i'm like dude that is to the left like that's well, another but bird. i think they both were drumming and yeah. I, all i could hear is the one to the right and then finally i turned my head too he came in like probably about 40. Uh, he was probably he was probably 50 60 yeah. and he saw something he didn't like <laughs> then we turned around i was like i hear the, pu the putting helped us though. oh yeah for sure. And then, then you then started call. calling right after it, yeah. That sucker ran it in that last little bit. <laughs> so he basically, he was behind all this brush the whole time. And then he came in, popped, and I was like, yawn him and I had him there. Also making sure I'm not hitting debris. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of moved a little bit and turned, I think. And then, I don't know, he stayed in the oh, shot, dude, shooting he lane. He was seriously right there, ducking around, and I'm like losing my mind. Then he my did one head. more of these, and I was like, good. I, I, I don't know what was in your way, so it's just kind of curious. Yeah. What did you, what was in your way? Uh, that, there's a vine. There's probably the vine on the edge of that tree. And I was like, I don't know. Or maybe the stick going this way. I see. One it. of those two. Was and we just like, heard that walk, and I was like, I gotta get like this Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Dude, hey, that just was a classic sick. crawling experience. I mean, sick. crawling setup, it was just like yeah. I mean, sticking look, on them all day. Look where we set up. <laughs> just behind this little berm. <laughs> Dude, how many times do you think that bird gobbled today? 600, 700? I mean, yeah, hundreds know. of times. We were convinced he was still up in a tree for a long time, you know? He knew he didn't have to go very, very far to do what he wanted to do, I guess. Yeah. That's insane. It's crazy. We've seen hens multiple times on this hunt. Every time they've just been doinking around, like not really doing anything. They're not they calling. Vocalizing? They're not interested in our calling. They're not even really looking at it. But the toms, on the other hand, are just fired up right now. So if you're in Kentucky, good job, dude. Dude, that was so yeah, fun. That was, that was fun. like, I mean, even we even said it was like, dude, this is like an intense, oh, such an so intense, intense experience. It's just, I don't know. For some reason in this, these kind of setups I like, I feel more comfortable when they're in tight. Just because there's like always something to hide behind. Yeah. And then it's just like at the moment of truth, you just do that. Show, show people like kind of what you mean by that. Cause I, I agree. So basically what Zach said too, before I got up to this point, before we shifted, was put my knees up here. And so that you're kind of sitting like this and then if you need to, you know, he starts putting or like move somewhere else, you can always do this kind of thing. Yep. To gain like a lot 40 of 40 yards of shot. Yeah. yeah. But, but being ready for that 10 yard, 20 yard shot, whatever that he eventually made. And looking back at that, it, you don't stick out at all, but you no. can keep your eyes right above that. Luckily we had this poplar shadow right here too, yeah. kind of breaking us up. That was a clutch thing too. Congratulations on your harvest. Easy enough. Boom. Confirmation code. That is awesome.